discipline? Were they a good army? Were they a shitty army? So, so where, where I was, I was in a valley that separated the two main north-south roads from like Kandahar to Kabul. Uh, so we dealt with Haqqani, uh, we dealt with the Taliban and Al-Qaeda <coughs> loosely. Um, some of the fighters knew what they were doing. They just had experience. They'd been doing it um, for years. And others were, so I think the best way to give an analogy of how most of the people were that fought there is most of them were just like you and me. Um, imagine if you're at your house in Hartford and one day an occupying force comes by and sets up a base right next to you. Uh, and for the next 20 years, they're there. And every day they leave that base and they walk through your village. Uh, they walk through your, your house, they, they harass your family. They maybe one day they shoot your dog because your dog's barking and uh, alerting people that you're there, uh, or they're walking through your crops every day and destroying like all livelihood that you have. And then maybe one day a mortar round that is meant to hit them hits your kid and kills your kid. And it doesn't kill the soldiers, but it kills your kid. At some point over the course of 20 years, maybe something clicks and you just get pissed off because your life has been destroyed you pick up a weapon and you shoot at them now technically you're Taliban so like now I have to kill you so that's kind of how I explain and more often than not that's what it was especially when I got to the point where I started seeing like the intel reports it went from being you're going after so and so it's objective crystal ball uh, they used weird names for our objectives and it was to dehumanize it um, but when I started seeing like the pictures or like a 20 year old kid that lived two villages over, you start thinking maybe not so much in the mar uh, the moment, but when you get back, like this is the Taliban, uh, they blend in. It's very guerrilla warfare. They blend in. I know there were times where we would be in a village and, uh, I'd be like talking to him and he'd be not talking. I would be like trying to communicate with him because he'd be speaking in Dari or Pashto and my interpreter or our interpreter as we'd walk away be like he's Taliban uh, just so you know we couldn't do anything so in the moment it's like oh good this person wants to kill me and then you start thinking I wonder if they have a, a vest on them because we we dealt with that we had that happen with one of our other platoons um, so it's it's hit or miss. Some tactics are good. They're seasoned. They know what they're doing. Um, we dealt with sniper fire. We dealt with other large caliber. But then there's people that are like you and me early on that just pick up a gun and don't know what you're doing, but you want to be a part of something because you're you're just fed up. 